What's going on guys? In this video I want to talk about uh, wrist pain, specifically uh, wrist pain you experience while training in uh, combat sports or martial arts as far as like striking uh, combat sports, okay? So if you've ever experienced any kind of wrist pain as a result of that type of training, check it out. So, um, given what I do, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, even Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, all their grappling and whatnot, um, I tend to uh, injure my wrist or hurt my wrist more than I'd like to admit. With that comes the decision to either stop training or to keep training. Uh, you have to consider stopping your training so that you can allow the wrist time to heal. It also makes things difficult as far as like even your strength training. So when your wrist is compromised, a lot of things that you probably enjoy doing become an issue. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, stopping is not an option. So with a lot of these issues that I encounter through the various means of training that I engage in, I have to find ways to work around or to um, keep training while allowing those things to heal. So let's talk about the wrist pain that I, get, I usually get from striking. Now, it happens, you know, when I'm hitting a heavy bag sometimes, you know, you wrap your wrist and you hope that the wrap is secure enough. I mean, that's one of the goals of having the hand wraps is to secure your fist and your wrist um, so you can generate the right amount of power, throw your punch properly and protect your wrist. But this is not a lot of protection. And I don't care what anyone tells you, unless you're taping it up like a cast, this can, it's always at risk. Another time that it could be at risk is hitting pads or mitts. I think the biggest time that it's at risk is when you're sparring. Through that kind of contact, I've compromised, I've, I've hurt or injured my wrist more than when I'm hitting a heavy bag. And that's mainly because even though I'm trying to throw the proper technique, I can't control what the other person is doing and how they're moving. And if you've ever sparred, you know that things don't land the way you want them to uh, regarding the way you're moving and the way they're moving. You do your best to mitigate the risk of injury while applying the proper techniques. You're doing everything the way you're supposed to, but it doesn't guarantee that the other person is reacting the way that you hope that they do. So I'm just coming off of like um, a strained tendon in my wrist that was kind of a problem for a couple weeks. I've had this type of problem last for months, but I started doing something recently that really helped mitigate um, the pain, number one, but also help it heal a lot faster to where when these things happen, I'm able to recover in about a week maybe two at the most as opposed to when I've had it before and I just kind of trained through it and would have that issue for months. And again, I don't stop training so, I'm, so I just try to baby it or protect it and not throw it as much. But you know, when you're hitting a heavy bag, again, when you're hitting mitts, when you're sparring, you know, as much as you try to protect it, all it takes is you hitting it the wrong way and you just, you make it worse or you just keep it aggravated. So what I've been doing is using one of these weightlifting straps. These straps are primarily for like power lifting or Olympic weightlifting or even just lifting in general. Um, again, your hand wrap is there to protect your wrist, but it doesn't provide enough support or protection. So what I do is I take one of these weight training, weightlifting straps, right? And after I put my hand wraps on, I secure one of these straps really, really tight. Not too tight, of course, but tight enough. And it creates an extra level of protection. I mean, it really locks that wrist in place. Um, and when you're punching, I mean, I'm telling you when I uh, have done this, the last couple times that I've strained, uh, recently I had a strained tendon that was really painful. Um, and I started doing this and I went to a, a three day camp with one of my mentors and it was like one of the most, some of the most intense training that I engage in all year. Shockingly through all the hours of training, with my wrist secured like this, it actually healed by that Monday. And uh, we started training on, the, on Thursday. So it was like four days of hard training and my wrist actually was healing as I was training. Just recently, um, I, I don't remember if I injured it uh, during a sparring session or a heavy bag because I was kind of doing it all. Either way, it got hurt again. Um, and I, I immediately went to using this right away and it healed within a week. So if you've ever experienced wrist pain from striking, or if you ever do experience it, here's a quick fix. 
as far as um, securing it, protecting it, and allowing you to continue your training. Now, if you're having serious pain and you believe it to be a much more severe injury, you need to see some kind of expert or a doctor to be sure that it's nothing serious that you need to actually have uh, medical attention for. Okay, guys. Well, that's my little video. I hope this is helpful. As always, keep fighting for fit, no excuses. And guys, please be sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate the support, and it'll help us keep this thing going. All right? See you guys in the next video.